All right. All right. So, how's working in the clam? It's going fantastic. It is rainy and windy and nasty outside, and I'm in here dry. I have a heater going. I'm totally fine. So, how are you keeping? How are you doing as far as Wi-Fi goes? How are you able to stay connected while you work? So, what we did is we took our Verizon plan um, and we upped it to what they call the Get More plan, uh, which gives it's the best plan offered currently through Verizon and it gives us 75 gigs of data a month and 30 gigs of hotspot. So with that, it's truly an unlimited plan, but once you hit those numbers, then your your uh, speed could slow. Um, but we wanted the, the best available that we could get. Um, so we could, and we have periodically, uh, when we first started, just use our phones as a hotspot and we're able to connect. Uh, one thing with that, your phone gets really hot and then it can disconnect you. Um, so if you want to stay on, what, what we ended up doing was purchasing a Netgear modem, a Netgear router, and an antenna. And so the modem, I actually put my SIM card in from the my cell phone. And explain it. I mean, we're in an area here where there is no service. I mean, this is yeah. So actually, just probably use, the least amount of service you just can get. Just using our cell phones, um, we barely have any service. You can barely connect to the internet. Uh, by using this, we've actually plugged this in and used our phones to connect through this um, as a hot, you know, as through the wireless router, basically. Um, and it gives us a better signal on our phones. So this is this is good, you know, even if you're not working, just if you happen to be in an area. I mean, a lot of times your campgrounds, your campgrounds are, nobody wants to camp like in the middle of the city where you have good Wi-Fi. The whole point of camping is to get out and away and in the trees. Um, so we, we wanted to be able to work to see, you know, if this was an option for us. Um, so we bought this. So the modem, it's the, like I said, it's all Netgear. So it's the 4G LTE broadband modem and it costs 130 bucks. We got it all off Amazon. Um, we'll put links below in the video so you can see what, what we have. Um, the router, it's a four stream Wi-Fi 6 router is what it's called. And it actually gives up to 1500 square feet of coverage and allows you to connect up to 20 devices. So I've been working in the trailer while she's been working out here and then I've been connecting uh, to the router out here uh, from in the trailer which has got a bunch of double pane windows. I mean it, it can't get any more insulated and I've had no issues whatsoever with connection which has been great. Right, so um, with the router it also has four ethernet points, uh, ports on the back. So you could connect um, directly to it if you wanted to or you can connect wirelessly. Um, so that costs $150, and then the antenna that we have is the, uh, it's numbers, it's 6000450 MIMO, M-I-M-O, um, is the, the name of the antenna. Ooh, here comes a big gust. Um, and that was $40. So, you know, what is, what do you spend about two, about $300, um, for all this, and we've been able to work out here remote the entire week. So wind, rain, clouds, fog, sunshine. We are, I mean, you couldn't be in a, a worse situation as far as <laughs> we're in an area on the Oregon coast that doesn't get very good Wi-Fi. We're under trees, it's windy, it's rainy. I um, mean, when we first started doing the research because our company allowed us to go uh, remote and we could work from home during COVID, you know, you get online and you start to do some research on your options and it couldn't be any more confusing. So what we're trying to do is just make it as simple as possible. You could try just using your phone as a hotspot if you have a good data plan, and that had that did work. Uh, but like Kim said, unfortunately, what happens is it gets hot, and all of a sudden you lose uh, the connection. We can't afford to have any lost connections. We have to be online eight hours, both of us, every single day, um, and this thing has worked perfectly. Once we figured it out um, and got everything set up, and then we're able to get the antenna in a decent spot, you know, we were able to get at least one or two bars where you wouldn't have any. Um, it's really worked out well. Like I said, we'll leave some links down below. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask us. Um, like I said, we're just trying to make it as easy as we can for people because we know there's so much information out there. There's a lot of bad information out there. People try to make it so confusing when really it doesn't have to be. And we've been able to do it, you know, this whole week. And I think this is our second week now where we've actually used it yeah. um, without any issues whatsoever. So. And having the, this clam tent is perfect because while our trailer is big and we have a bigger table than um, most trailers, it's even bigger than our, my parents' motorhome, uh, once you put a keyboard, a monitor, and your laptop, 
you really don't have room for two people to have this full setup. Technically, we could just work off our laptops, but we're way more efficient having our other devices with us. So we just chose if we're gonna be doing this for a full week, we wanna have the, basically the setup that we have at home. Uh, so being able to come out here and work and then having the router where he can connect to it in there, this is ideal for us. If our companies allow us, um, you know, as, as COVID is, is going on and on and on, you know, the companies keep continuing to let their uh, employees work more remote. We've been talking about potentially, you know, going on the road full time, and this would give us a, an opportunity to be able to work and do that. But um, even if not, uh, they'll still give us, Kim does have a remote job where we could still go somewhere on vacation and she could work or do whatever. But it's still, like she said, even if we're not working, we could use it to connect our phone and other things uh, to the internet or whether we want to stream movies or shows on TV. You know, we don't do much of that, but people do. Um, so it gives you that option as well. To show my, my setup here, because most of your chairs, you know, you sit way too low to try to work. So I actually, again, purchased on Amazon. Um, it's called Everlasting Comfort, and it's a seat cushion and then a backrest. So it sets me higher and lets me be more ergonomically correct. And that's a really comfy chair too. Is that your parents? It is my parents. <laughs> so <laughs> we've, really nice we've determined that we are going to, um, they got these at Camping World. So we're gonna go to go to Camping World online and purchase- You can't buy these on Amazon? Um, I don't know, we'll look. Yeah, we'll look. We'll see what what, what exactly it is at Camping World and see what we can find on Amazon. And just a quick uh, thank you to everyone that's been using our links uh, in the past. That's really awesome of you guys. It really helps the channel. It's the only way we really make any money off YouTube uh, is when people use our Amazon links. And what's funny is uh, the cool thing is even if you use a link of ours and you don't actually buy that product, but you buy anything else for 24 hours, Amazon gives us a piece of their profit. So it doesn't cost you a penny. Woo! It gives uh, a little bit of a kickback to us, which is, it's minor, it's pennies on the dollar, but <laughs> at least it's uh, money going to us instead of Amazon. So thank you guys very much for uh, using those links. And uh, like I said, if you just click on one of them and even if you purchase whatever you purchase for yourself, somebody bought snow chains and we got some a uh, little bit of profit off of that. So thank you guys that are using the links. We really appreciate it.